Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about GitHub Copilot and how you can use the free GitHub Copilot in VS Code. You can see there was an announcement made on December 28th, how you can use the free GitHub Copilot in the VS Code, right? So in this video, I will show you how you can set up the GitHub Copilot in VS Code and some of the commands you can run through it. Just a disclaimer that if you are already using the GitHub Copilot, then there might not be something new that you can learn from this video use that time in something else productively but then this is the flow that i'm going to follow in this particular video first i will briefly go through the announcement made and i will show you how you can set up vs code and the github copilot and then i will show some privacy stops what you can do after that i will show you how you can start the github copilot either from the existing project or from the scratch uh, scratch one and i'll show you some of the com available commands there and show how you can create the git commit using the github copilot and also the vision it's not there yet but i will show you how you can use the vision meaning that you can take the screenshot of some images and provide that as a context to the uh, error lamps then i will show you the edit mode available in the vs vs code using the github copilot and that will be the part of this video if you are into this let's get started this is the announcement as you can see here it says we are excited to announce on all new free plan for github copilot right available for everyone today in vs code all you need is a github account no trial, no subscription, no credit card required. As it said, you need to have a GitHub account, right? First, you need to have the GitHub account. I already have the GitHub account. If you don't have already, just pause the video, create the GitHub account, and then you can continue. So it's easier or you can do it later also. Anyway, it's, it's up to you. But uh, main thing here is with GitHub Copilot free, it's not completely free, right? You get 2000 code completions per month that's about 80 per working day you can get 50 chat requests per month right as well as you, you can have access to the gpt 40 and cloud 3.5 sonnet models which is provided in this free plan and then other things work with multiple files uh, with the copilot edits in the edits you can provide multiple files and work on it there is this custom instructions meaning that you can provide the custom instructions uh, and you can have this copilot instructions.md file inside the dot uh, github so that you can have the copilot showing you based on the instructions that you have here and also the full project awareness and if you go down they it says here naming things and other hard problems for example you need to name a variable sometimes it's confusing what you name it but give a random name and then ask uh, github copilot to name it a simple feature but it's still i think good to have speak your mind meaning you can have the um, audio button also in the copilot be a term you can use this in the terminal also no fear of commitment meaning if you add that in the github you can ask copilot to create the commit message for you and extensions all you need uh, to know all other stuff is here go through this step by step to know more information but now as i showed before this is the steps first let's go and set up the vs code and the copilot for that you need to have the github account and if you don't have the vs code also you need to download it right so you just download the vs code and install in your machine now i will open the vs code visual studio code so you can see here is the vs code but it is not set up right now as you can see here there is some exclamation sign here meaning that i haven't set up it and also on the on the left bottom here in the account it says here sign in with the github uh, right that's the prerequisite of using it i can just click this sign in to use the copilot if i use this it will take me to the browser if you are not already logged in you need to be logged in because you need to say okay i want to use this github in order to run with this uh, vs code right so i'll just use this continue and i will authorize this and once this is done you are able to use the copilot it says here configured now always uh, make sure that you have the latest version of the vs code it was introduced december 18 and for you just to show you which version of vs code i'm using i'm using 1.96.2 so make sure that it is this one or later version of this one it also works in your case right so yeah this is the thing here what do we have next uh, let me go what i have next here 
in the flow privacy stops before going there and asking things i just want you also uh, to know what is the privacy things in the vs code right once you are logged in here what you can do is go to this icon here and then you can just go manage copilot settings right you just go here it will open in your github account and here you can set up what you want to do right for example here you can see and this by the way the same thing you can also go directly to the github account and from here on the top there is your copilot you can go to your copilot and this will be the same page but you can already go from the vs code also so here it's saying that you are using the copilot for free these are all the different things and here is the copilot policies make sure to go through this because you don't want to have your informations being used to train the model or something like this right here it says suggest matching public code duplication detection here you can just go here and say blocked or allowed based on your case allow github to use my data for production environment improvements you can use this or not i can just say uncheck and that's it you are not allowing your data for product improvements and here it says allow github to use my data for ai model training right it is disabled here so it's up to you what you want to do if you want to provide for product improvements you can just click this so it can be used for future enhancements it's completely up to you you can even enable that and also this anthropic cloud 3.5 sonnet in copilot is in the preview yes we have enabled so we can use that there and dashboard entry point it is enabled these are the privacy things or policies that you can go here and uh, change that's it uh, from the policy part you need to make sure what you are providing for the free uses of this one you can block or allow whatever you want to do now the first thing i want you to do is instead of going through and exploring things there is help what you can do right just click this one and there is help command which provides you all the information for example this is the welcome page i can cancel this i'll make this little bit bigger here are all the things right so you can ask me general programming questions or chat with the following participants which have specialized expertise and can perform actions this video is not to show you how you can code it but you can see there are different things you can do and this is what you configure the vs code now you can create the project the next thing is you can just open for example if i go now here this is the simple project that i have now i can just open this in vs code it will be open in the vs code and all the functionalities are same in both cases because here also i'm already logged in i can use all the functionalities you can work in your existing project or you can uh, ask a copilot to create a new project for you what i'm going to do is ask copilot to create a new project so that i can show you all the functionalities right if i go here i can just go here and say here is okay create create me a simple flask to do app this is simple thing that i'm just showing you i'm not going to check if it works or not but i just want to show you that github actually it creates a workspace right and then it will create all the files for us you can see this is a proposed directory structure for a flask it creates the mm, folder there is src all the different things models routes templates to do test and so on now what you can do okay yes create workspace it will ask where to do the work i can say okay use this to create the project and it says you're creating this in the desktop it is creating the flask application and now it will open in the sidebar once it creates it it is adding all the different files and folders would you like to open the created workspace yes open it and now you can see and now we have the project being created here if you go to the requirements you can see what is required here if you go to readme.md it shows you what is the project structure what is this application all about and set up instructions also here so you need to clone this repository and you need to go inside this install the requirement .txt and run the file python sr see after now you will have this running in the local host right this shows you step by step and also how to run the pytest you can see that it helps you go through each and everything right and if you go here open chat the same file is now being opened here so now you can just go here and see all the different things and one thing if you noticed already here you can see whatever file is open here it takes that as a current file for example if i go inside src app the app.py file 
and now it says here the current file is app.py so if you ask questions it directly goes through this uh, file and do things but let me now close this one for now so i'll show you now some of the things or commands uh, i think that is what i have in the to do also that is what we just created available commands to get started so let me show you some of the commands so that you get started first thing you created the project and now one thing is let's say that here you want to add something for example you go here inside the um, function and now let's say that you want to ask something here you can right click and go to the copilot you can see all the commands that you want to ask for example if i go here and run command i you can ask the copilot right for example i can say here write me doc strings that's it and it is going to write me the doc strings right create and configure the flask application this function initializes the flask application so you can accept this there you go there is a doc string being created here inside the function where i had the uh, cursor set up in the beginning right that is the inline things for example you were you were maybe somewhere here and you don't know what this uh, is doing or or maybe some other places you can just go here just open this and you can say explain for example and it will ask me which part of it i can say create app if i click this it takes all the things above it and explains you whatever that that code is doing this is really good because you know what is happening in this code already from the inline chat so edit it with the inline chat right so it's easier that you can already be in the file itself and so on but then also all there is all, all always this um, co-pilot on the side where you can also ask and help it to fix things if you go here there are many things you can do now one additional thing I want to show you is so just go here and fix review and uh, comment comment for example I can just select this and I can go to the copilot and say here review and comment now you can see it is going through each line it is a good practice to separate these different things applied and go to next something like this it, it because it is suggesting all the different things here and uh, you can just go here okay this is saying something here what do you want to do and it says here there is an unnecessary blank line apply and go next and then again here okay apply and go next and it said there is unnecessary blank line that's it now it went through all the uh, step by step and then show you all the different things this is just how you can play around with it this is one thing okay the same thing how we did in the inline chat you can do the same thing let's open the terminal and once we open the terminal right click and there is this terminal inline chat or there is also this command i whatever you want to do i can just open here and ask ai now, for example there was no mention of creating the virtual environment for the python applications i, re I recommend you do that and let's say i don't know how to do it i can say how to create and activate the virtual environment something like this and it will show you okay this is how you can uh, create the virtual environment and you can activate the virtual environment right that's it you can insert it you can run it you can close it and view in a, a view in chat uh, so you can just do this and now it is in in the chat playing around between the terminal and between the file it, it's up to you how uh, you want to do it now let's see git commit message right here i am not initializing the git but first let's initialize the git for that you need to have git installed i hope you will do that or if you have cloned something from the github it will be already there but if not you can just run git init and now there is a git file being created dot git if i clear this if i do ls lia you can see now there is dot git and you can see once that it is there there is 480 files to to commit that's what it is saying but everything is in the git because we don't have the git ignore file here but let's just assume that we want to add this app.py file if you go here it is inside src what i will do is i will add src app.py i added that and now if you go here there is the thing to commit right here is the commit and there is the stages file here 
by the way this is the git extension in vs code if you don't have it i think it will be by default there if not also you can install the git extension and it will be like this and now here this is the file and i can write the commit myself and commit but here is this thing here which is called generate commit message with uh, copilot just click this one and now it is going to create the commit message for you it says initialize flask application with blueprint registration something like this i can say commit okay save all and commit changes i can say yeah save all and commit changes open git log yes i can open git log so you can see it also all the git log like this this is really handy and easy to write the commitment i'm just showing a simple example but imagine that you have a big project and you are changing some of the files it's easier uh, if it creates the commit message uh, for you right let me uh, go back to the file and here i available git commands i showed you briefly right git commit there is it now last thing here if you go here there is another icon also here this is the chat icon and this is the copilot edits if you go here this is in preview also so what you can do here is working set one file so here you can have multiple files let's say i have this app.py it says start your editing by defining a set of files you want to work with i have it here i can say add file and it shows us different files right but what you can do is maybe to do and add.py so i can say app.py so these are the two things explain these two files it's a simple example but you can start having you can already open from here and so on one thing i find interesting is in the to do what i can do this is really interesting here edit files in your workspace what i can do here is maybe in the save function i can just say like this in the save function try cat block let's see if it knows that or not so here to do file so you can see add a try accept okay try and accept um block to the save method so if you see here in the save this is what i mean it says logic to be passed try and accept so it just goes here and does the thing for us so add a try accept block to the save method to handle the potential exceptions so it is adding here and then here it says uh, undo or open the diff you can open the diff already from here you can accept or discard so if you accept this and now that is in place this is how you can edit multiple files this is a simple example but you can see how powerful it will be if you just have multiple files open and say okay edit this edit that and you can test it and then accept it whatever you want to do so yeah i think that is all if i go back to the file here git commit edit mode and yeah that's all i wanted to show you in this uh, video this is the introductory video as i said before i hope you learned something new there are many things in the future i haven't used the other things for example cursor and we windsurf and what what not other other different tools to use the coding but i think that having github copilot along with vs code and having some of the credits free to try it's a good way to learn uh, programming and uh, learn things using ai tools i find it really helpful i also i hope you also find this helpful let me know in the comment sections how you find it and also let me know uh, what kind of video you want me to create in the future thanks for watching and see you in the next one